Thank you. Thank you for a nice words. So everybody who was here this morning uh, knows already that I have been working in cyber physical systems, and uh, I want to uh, show you our practical work on robots, how to model them, how to work uh, with them in collaboration. And uh, cyber physical systems are kind of a broader topic, and cloud robotics, respectively robotics, is certainly one of the interesting narrower areas that is very amenable for model-driven engineering and uh, also this architectural pattern world-oriented modeling called VOM. Uh, I have here a little outline uh, and I want to introduce you first to uh, some application areas of the technology we're talking about and about of the architectural pattern. Some of you might not know yet what a cobot is or a robotic co-worker. Uh, I am also new to this area since about six years. My group worked with robots to generate mainly software from models for robots. Uh, I like this because I, I like model-driven engineering. So uh, it started with a NAO robot. We have a DSL environment for NAOs, and we sh I show you some more examples, uh, more um, haptic examples, more dangerous examples. Uh, so uh, that you see that you really need model-driven engineering here. Uh, however, this is really a challenge for the entire community, and I want to present you some preliminary results of our research and challenge you a little bit that you might also go into this way in, do, in your research, and you might uh, have a lot of fun in the next years with these funny devices called robotic co-workers. So this is a now. Who of you has had a now already teaching robot wonderful play play robots uh, this is basically a linux pc it has an internet address and you can log into it and you can run a web server and you can give it commands and you can generate code for it and <coughs> yeah you can do domain specific languages for it as we used to do in meta modeling no problem uh, <coughs> that uh, now inspired us a lot uh, since five years and uh, I want to show you first a film on one of the second generation case studies in my lab called Home Turtle. The Home Turtle is actually an application for elderly people in smart homes and it shows you a collaborating robot, a really primitive one. I hope I can find here the way how to start a film. Oh my dear. The mouse is not on the screen, that's horrible. <laughs> 